I have been renting on the bus for these past three days and I'm trying to change the carburetor. It was actually running good at the first place but I was kind of curious and maybe some of you might wondering why the heck did you have to ruin a good daily driver that was actually running good already? Well, here is the answer. See this? It's the stock intake and that was the stock car that was installed in the bus earlier. It's Solek 34 if I'm not mistaken. See this? And compare to the car that I'm going to install is this. See that? Get dual intake, bro. It was Weber 3236, if I'm not mistaken. And CV intake. Man, god damn it. It was kind of almost twice of the stock intake, so that's why I'm curious. I mean, even after this new curve, this dual intake Weber is installed, it's still not quite fast. I mean, it's not a fast automobiles at the first place it doesn't even up to 100 horsepower on the wheels but it might run a little bit decent we'll try and let's see whether can i make this good old bus running in the end of the day well for some of you that might curious why the heck didn't i insult the weber on the book instead of the bus because this book has really really ran really decent and it has a reasonably fresh built engine on it so it was kind of waste if i'm going to ruin the engine just for the sake to fill the car and that's why i'm going to use the good old bus as the pigs and because this engine has actually maybe approximately about three or four years ago is the last time this engine has has been rebuilt and that's why i was pretty confident if this thing is going to run good and we'll see let me tell you something this is the reason why there's a quote build not boat Wrong direction. Heal <laughs> you. This is the time for the carb assembly. This is a main jet. This is called an air corrector. And this is the pilot jet. It's the primary and this is the secondary. And for those of you that doesn't know, this Weber carb is actually a progressive carb the progressive means here is that it was kind of a little bit of high performance car but still kind of economical with that being said it has two inlet as you can see but for the 30 percent of throttle input you only get to open the first or the primary inlet only but then if you push it until the 100% GPS or throttle position sensor if in the fuel injected automobiles it will open up both of them so 0 to 30% it was just the primary then at the full on you'll see both of them for each of the primary and the secondary we have it's a pilot jet air corrector and a main jet main jet works when your rpm is more than 3000 revolution per minute then the air corrector is assisting the main jet just in case if it was too rich then the air corrector provides a lot more air to the main jet to make the fuel and air mixture to be more condensed and to make sure it will burn throughout the engine and for the pilot jet it works for the low range rpm from the 0 to 3k that's why it's not so easy to tune a carburetor so it's a lot easier in fuel injection for sure but it's an old car dude 
what the heck did you really get for getting a 72 Volkswagen? And I am I going to find the title for the video later on? The perks of a Volkswagen owner. That's it and get to the time lapse. later Well, after seeing the spark plugs, is number one, two, three, and four. You can see here that it was running too rich. That's why it was really, really black. But I don't know why I have faith that the carb setting is too lean. I don't know, I'm just being a little bit stupid right now. But that's why I'm bored the... Actually, I'm getting the Pilot Z back to the size they used to be because yesterday I've put some glue on it and to make the whole shrink but right now I'm just getting them back to the 21 mil to the 1 mil size again because before it the primer pilot jet was 70 and it was 80 yesterday because I want to shrink it from the 1 mil from the 100 size when the carp was came in but I have a faith that it will be better let's see one hour later So yesterday I was actually managed to to get the car running, kinda running, but turns out it was getting still too rich up top so it gives me a sign that the main jet was still too rich uh, and in this case I don't really have any spare main jet for this particular carbs, the Weber, the, the progressive 3236. 
Everybody knows that if you want to get richer and you have a certain main debt, you just need to drill it out. But in this case, I was getting too rich and have no other options. So I'm show you how to make it leaner or to shrink them whole to get it tight. Alright, so back to the topic. This is the main jet. It was size. It was size one seventeen and one twenty five. It needs a smaller jet and to do that. You need this kind of glue the resin and the hardener. It's called the epoxy or the Altico or whatever. You need to mix both of these things, but not like how it used to be it used to have a one and one ratio but since we're just going to use a small amount of it so you need to have this in one and it'll be one and a half to make it quicker to get in dry so this will be one of the it will be this small and it was kind of hard enough then you just need to stick it in and drill it out One eternity later. Oh my God! drive on the finest tune of the bus I mean for me it is the finest on the car I get 130 and 140 main jets on the primary and the secondary the pilot jet I put both of them on 40 a corrector is still the same 160 165 according to the stock because I have no other air correctors and I don't have any larger drill to drill it out and the ignition timing is currently set on 10 before top dead sensor, 10 degrees before. And let's see how this thing will. I may put the GoPro later on. And right now I'm uh, enjoy this sweet little cruise. There's kind of a little bit of traffic, as you can see. That. But it's fine, it's chilling, it's such a nice weather and it's not too hot and hopefully the car will be a little bit decent. Yeah.
few moments later. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video right now since it was a little bit of huge, a little bit of success with this mod, and I'm going to straight getting back home. And it was getting really, really hot right now, so I just can't stand in this heat for too long. And that's it. Thank you for all of you kind people that really helping me through watching these videos. And it might a little bit of crap, but I don't fucking care. It's just all I got. I just had this iPhone and the GoPro for the camera, and I don't have any other video gear at all. But that's it, guys. I hope I hope y'all like really enjoy this video, and maybe y'all will going to learn something out of this feed that I'm telling you about how to do shit and so on and so forth. And that's it for today. I'm gonna wrap this videos up, and I'm going back home. Stay safe and cheers. Yeah.